Hey everyone, uh, a couple weeks ago we put in these zippity fences around to block certain areas of the yard for the dogs and we decided we're going to put them around our garden area to keep dogs and other critters out of them. So we're going to talk about these and show you how to set them up and just how easy they are. Hey everyone, we are Katie and Scott. We are heading towards a life of full-time RVing. Not quite there yet, so right now, um, if you're new to the channel, you'll see a lot of our travels, uh, tips and tricks, and outdoor product reviews, indoor product reviews, just a little bit of everything, but mostly geared towards that camping, travel, and RV lifestyle. If that's interesting to you and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so now. We'd really appreciate it. All right, so these zippity fences are pretty easy to put together. Um, they're great for around the house, especially in places where maybe you don't want a permanent fence or you just need a, to put up something quick. You don't want to spend the money on, on drilling post holes or something like that. I can also see this being useful to full-time RVers that maybe stay in a certain park for a month or two at a time. Maybe they want to put a fence around um, a little you know, flower garden that they have or to keep their dogs or cats or other pets in, um, something like that. It's not super, super portable, but, um, but you could move it around fairly easily enough if you were moving every couple months or whatever. So each of these boxes contains two fence sections. Each section is 56 and a half um, inches long, and then it's 30 inches high. Now there is another version you can get where it's, I think it's 48 inches high, or maybe it's 40 inches high, but it, it is higher. We found that the 30 inches was more than high enough for our purposes. Um, and they do have these little um, clasps that um, you can put next to each other so you can extend sections of fence indefinitely. We actually have, I think we've got eight sections of fence here that we're going to put around this entire garden area. So I'm going to get started putting this together and we'll see how it turns out. So you can see they come in these long boxes. If you really wanted to disassemble it, it would make transporting it between locations easier. Um, but it's, uh, it's not necessary. Once it's put together, if you have a wide enough space, uh, you can just pull them out of the ground and store them somewhere. Uh, setting them up really doesn't take too long. A couple things that'll make your life a lot easier. Realize that there are three different size slats that you have to put into. So setting these up and organizing them by size will save you a lot of time in the long run because they do go in a specific pattern. They go low, up to high, and then back down. All right, so the rails that go across the top and the bottom are also slightly different. You'll notice on the bottom, it's completely flush along here, um, but in the top, it's got the spaces for the slats to fit in. The top rail, you can see it goes all the way right through there. So you wanna make sure that you have your top and bottom rails set up beforehand and identified, because you don't wanna screw these together and then have to take them apart again. The supports that go in the ground, you'll notice that they are angled here. You want to make sure that these angles are pointing towards each other or the inside. So the long flat part should be on the outside of each fence to give it a little more support. Really these things just slide right through here. Slide right through here and you secure them at different points along the post. And then, um, and then put the slats in between, it's real easy. Uh, they do say when you're setting this up to go ahead and assemble the fence first and then push it into the ground. So the next step is to figure out where you want your fencing and then lay down your, your first post here. So you want to just gently push it into the ground. If the ground is soft from rain like we've had, it makes it a lot easier. Um, so once you've got this set up and you kind of figure out where you want everything, go ahead and, and use a, a mallet and hammer down that first piece. Um, try to get it down at least to where this angle is for support, but you can do, um, you can go down as far as, as you want or as far as the ground will allow. They also say that you can use a, a small tooth uh, saw and cut some of this off if you need to as well. One thing you wanna do is kind of alternate. So maybe do two, three hits, two, three hits, um, just so you're driving them down kind of even and you don't um, accidentally warp the, the fence or put them out of alignment. So these slats were actually supposed to go in before we started putting this in the ground. I don't read directions and Katie does. So she was right, I was wrong. Uh, yep, you got it on film now. But uh, 
Also, the slats, when they go in, they've got these little hooks on them. And if you ever need to take them out for whatever reason, they say you can slip a, a little butter knife in um, or something flat and you can push these forward and keep them from catching. So you can see it, it kind of catches on the, on the um, thing down here. So I put one in wrong. I will try to get it out. Oh, a butter knife would have been better so it doesn't have the sharp point, but there we go. These slats do have numbers at the bottom so that you can tell them apart really easy. Like I said before, organizing them is going to be key in saving you time. So they're not too bad to put in. Just gotta line it up just so. Once you get the, uh, once you get the alignment figured out, it's not so bad. And then it just slides down to the bottom and slaps in. There you go. I will tell you these things, um, they, they don't feel very cheap and they look real nice. You know, they're not gonna, stand up to a, a giant dog charging them probably but uh, they'll stay they'll stay nice for a while um, we also got a gate here which we will assemble and see how that works out so the gate assembles pretty much the same way um, it's just shorter obviously and then there'll be a, a bracket and a hinge that go between two of these pieces and the, uh, the little gate will swing and it won't have these posts so we'll get that put together real quick So the gate was um, kind of a pain to, to install by yourself. I think if you had a good workbench um, or a partner helping you, it would have been a lot easier. You've got two hinges here, you got some brackets for support, and then of course the, the latch here. You can see it opens pretty wide. You could definitely get a lawn cart, garden cart, um, lawnmower through here, no problem. You know, the fence is still pretty, pretty stable even with it um, open. And I think all in all, we're real happy with this zippity fence. Um, you know, it went together pretty easy. It took me an afternoon, mostly by myself. And I think it looks real nice. So if you guys have any questions, drop us a, a comment below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, if you like this kind of content, you can check out our channel. We do a lot of stuff like this, uh, mostly revolving around the RV lifestyle and outdoor stuff. And I guess that's it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.